Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we are going to discuss about public cloud design problem statement and their related solution. Today, we are going to discuss about Cosmos DB integrated cache. So today's problem statement, how to optimize cost and latency in a read heavy Azure Cosmos DB driven application. When we say read heavy, that means the application where read requests are more than the write request. Now, the solution which has been provided by Microsoft Azure Cosmos DB integrated cache. Now, when do you need Cosmos DB? Azure Cosmos DB is a fully managed NoSQL data designed for modern apps. When you need high availability and throughput with impressive SLS, transparent replication and a range of consistency option, that time you can prepare Cosmos DB. It has been used for web mobile, gaming, and IoT application. It is also used to handle massive amount of data rates and writes at a global scale. Now, how do you pay? You generally pay in a database for the throughput that you provision and the storage that you consume per hour. Cosmos DB charges based on the database operation known as request units. That here, in case of Cosmos DB, the write operation generates more uh, request units than the read operation. So you need to be very careful when you are designing the Cosmos DB with respect to the cost, with respect to the number of operations that you are going to conduct over your Cosmos DB. Now let's understand a simple scenario. Why do you need caching? Just think about the scenario here. You have your service which is consuming your database and in your database a query is getting executed and it is generating the solution or your outcome of that particular query. And the query is getting back to your compute or your services. So in that case, whenever a request is getting generated, database takes some time to execute the query and do certain operation and then it gets back the response to, the, to your service. For doing that, it also consumes a lot of time to execute the query as well as it also consumes an amount of money that for, for that particular execution, for that particular operation. So here the cache is coming to picture. So if you place your cache in, ahead of your database, and you cache your data whenever a request is getting generated and your response is getting generated and when you are returning the response you have to keep the response in your cache when the same request is coming again that time your cache will return the data so your database will never call again your query will never be executed and your cost will never be generated that's how a caching can help your performance as well as cost of optimization now let's try to understand a read through cache pattern if you want to understand more about the different caching pattern, then please follow our previous video where we have detailed explained what is caching different patterns which are currently available. Now, when we are talking about read through caching, that means your service will make a call to your database. First, it will check the cache if it is available or not. If it is not available in the cache, then it will make a call to your database. Your database, your query is getting executed. Then after that, the response will be generated and it will be returned back to your system or your service. While it is getting written back, the cache will store the data in the caching area. And that's where it, when a new request will be generated with the same uh, amount of uh, request data, that time your cache will return the data rather than your database is getting called. That is called, we call it as a cache hit. So a cache hit occurs when the requested data can be found inside the cache. If it is not there, then the execution of the database will be there. And again, the caching will be executed. That is how a read through cache pattern works. Now, let's try to understand how Cosmos DB connect, connection modes work. So whenever a request is coming to Cosmos DB, Cosmos DB has two connection modes. One is a direct connection mode, another is a gateway connection mode. When you are talking about direct connection mode, it is quite fast as compared to gateway connection mode. And it connects to your different partitions, gets the data and return it back to your services. That is how Cosmos DB works. Now, let's try to understand how integrated cache is going to help here. So in case of integrated cache, the request will be, the cache will be generated inside your dedicated gateway, the memory space. And inside that, when a request is coming to your dedicated gateway mode, uh, you are in gateway mode and inside in your dedicated gateway, it will first verify whether your request is currently there in your integrated cache or not. If it is not there, then it will go to the partition, it will create the response and then it will return back to your service. And when, while it is returning back to your service, the ca cache will store the data or the response. 
when the same request will be generated again your integrated cache will return the response uh, to the service rather than your co your cosmos db will not get executed with this your cost will be definitely drastically you know reduced if it is a raid heavy application and the same type of request is getting generated again and again because cosmos db generate the cost based on the request you get that means based on the request operation or the read operations so that's how you can reduce the cost of cosmos db when you are in implementing integrated cache it is a managed cache so you do not have to take care of the life cycle of the cache like you know you have redis cache in that case you have to take care of the life cycle of the redis redis cache system but in case of integrated cache of cosmos db it has been taken care by azure you do not have to worry about it that's how a dedicated gateway or integrated cache will help you to reduce your cost of your read heavy system where you know your request are getting you know getting fired again and again it is nothing but a read through pattern to be honest then when to use cosmos db integrated cache this is one of the very crucial point you need to focus the main goal of the integrated cache is to reduce cost for read heavy workloads so when you have a read heavy workloads that you want to execute you do not your data is not getting changed so frequently and you want to read you want to read the same request again and again multiple time in that case integrated cache is your way to go and low latency while helpful is not the main benefit of the integrated cache because anyways as your cosmos db is already first without caching now let's try to categorize when to use it when not to use it so when you have a read heavy workloads many repeated points read on large items many repeated high request unit queries you know you have multiple uh, queries which is generating lot of request units in that case you know you can you can get the output and then you can cache it and so that the request unit will not be generated again and again and it will reduce the cost and you have any hot partition for key uh, key reads now when not to use when you have a write heavy workloads so as i said write operation takes lot of uh, you know a lot of request units so you should not use integrated cache when you have a very high uh, write heavy workloads because uh, as as i said you know it is more towards the uh, uh, caching of read heavy application so you should not use in case of write heavy workloads and rarely repeated points reads or queries so in that case also you should not use so these are all basic information about azure integrated cache microsoft has really defined really well in their uh, website i would highly recommend please go through the document and try to understand different ways pros and cons about this integrated cache and based on your enterprise need based on your application need you can use this cache and make get the benefits if you like the videos then don't forget to subscribe and uh, like our channel or like our videos and share with your friends and keep learning and sharing thank you